One thing was confirmed about last night's game between the Giants and the Patriots. At the bottom, Stephon Gilmore is the league's best corner. And it's been going on for a while now. The best corner since Revis. In his 50 snaps last night, he gave up one completion to Darius Slayton on the game's first play. But that was it. That's all he gave up. At the top here, they're going to try and go to Golden Tate. And he's playing on the upfield shoulder, cluing the quarterback, gets his hand on the ball here, tips it up, and John Simon comes up with an interception. Forced that interception. On this third and five, he baits the rookie Daniel Jones into throwing the ball here to Cody Lattimore at the bottom. He's giving him the cushion. He wants him to throw it there, and then he's going to jump the route. Daniel Jones looking right at him. He jumps the route. He does everything but come up with the interception, and he is taken aback. He needs to be consoled after dropping that interception. Now, here he is. When the Giants motion here to a stack formation, he's going to play off. But if you're going to be a corner in the Patriots defense, you have to be a complete corner. That means you've got to be the force here. And when Hilleman bounces this ball outside, you got to be expected to make the tackle. Same thing at the bottom here. When Hilleman breaks this tackle off the first play of the third quarter, he's in a position to get off the block and make the sure tackle. And on 39 here, on the last play of the third quarter up at the top, the Giants want the win for one more play. And they're going to take a shot to the kid with Auburn speed, Darius Slayton. But the one thing about Gilmore, who wears the same number as Darrell Revis, is he doesn't guess. And once the, the receiver declares, now look at him be able to put that foot in the ground and then come back and make the play on the ball. On third and nine, he gets the ball out and the Giants are forced to punt. He constantly here at the bottom takes the first read away. This is where Daniel Jones is looking. This is where he wants to go, but he loves to get his hands on receivers. Slow him down, redirect him. Now Daniel Jones has to get off the route and come back to a safety valve on the other side, Slayton. On zone coverage here, he's going to take Golden Tate away. This is a two receiver route. There's only two receivers in the route. They're going to zone it off. He plays outside and cover three here. Here comes Golden Tate right to him. Daniel Jones is looking, and he's looking, and he's waiting. Finally, Danny Shelton hits him, forces his ball up, and Harmon comes up with the interception. But it started with zone coverage taking the receiver away. At the bottom here, going to reroute the receiver and knock him out of bounds. Take him out of the play. Those things don't get shown on TV. On this play here at the top, he's going to take the number one wide receiver away. This is where Daniel Jones wants to go with the ball. He's running him to the sidelines here. Got no place to go. Dietrich Wise comes and sacks him. On this speedo route, two receiver route, he's got the single on Slate up at the top. Golden Tate is getting the double. Gilmore's got Slayton on the single. The out gets converted vertical here. Out and up. Stays with him all the way. No place for Daniel Jones to go. Barely can throw that ball away. Here, he's going to force Slayton out of bounds right here. Ride him out of bounds. Kind of a lazy route, but steps on the white. Wins that route. This play right here, this is the last play of the game. All 50 snaps, from the first play to the last snap, Daniel Jones going to Slayton. Plays it blind and punches the ball out on the final play of the game. Played it all the way to the whistle. And I think you'll like this right here. Here's the same play from the end zone. How many times do you think Bill Belichick, during the course of a game, Comes over and singles out a single player. Bill Belichick, his hands in the hoodie. On the final play, nice little golf clap right here. But stay on Belichick all the way. He'll tell you everything you need to know about how good Gilmore was last night. There's a lot of players around right there. A lot of players played a good game. One player gets a high five from Coach Belichick. One player gets the high five. He knows just how good Gilmore is. It's the best we've seen. In fact, I'll just wait to the final play here on this breakdown to show Gilmore here in zone coverage. But he reroutes the underneath receiver. Now he expands right into the hole and takes this ball away from the rookie Daniel Jones. What a night for Stephon Gilmore, but what it really does is confirm that we're watching the best cornerback in football and maybe the best cornerback we've watched since Darrell Revis opened Revis Island.